What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Conversations with Kobe, where I'm going to talk to you about a lot of things that I've learned throughout my life with experimenting with gadgets, life, equipment, technology, anything that I want to talk about. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have some things, remember, drop them in the comments, engage, give me things to talk about, or things you want me to experiment and try. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is going to be my Ember mug. I really like this Ember mug. Now people say, what is it? It's a travel mug. What makes it different? Well, the thing I really like about my Ember, Ember travel mug is the fact that it keeps my tea at the exact temperature I want it for at least three hours. Now, some people who drink tea a lot, some people drink coffee a lot. I think this is invaluable. I hate to be sitting there with a cup of funny looking water that is almost tasteless or disgusting after it is cooled down. And who wants to have to heat up their coffee in the microwave or on the stove? I can sit there with my travel mug, I put it in the mug, I drive to work, um, it's, it's the exact temperature. It doesn't cool it down, but it just keeps it and warms it to stay at the exact temperature. I mean, I really love it. It's a little pricey, but believe me, for me, it's worth it. I really enjoy the fact that I can go back and for at least three to four hours keep my tea the exact temperature I want it. I like my tea around 130 degrees. It also has a nice charger that's fashionable that you can sit near your desk. Now they come with another coffee mug, but I like the travel mug because I go back and forth to work or I'm on the road and I can put it in here and I rock and roll. But the travel mug, you can sit next to your desk. I mean, with the regular mug, you can sit next to your desk, uh, on your desk, and keep it throughout the day so that you don't have to worry about the battery dying down. But this is great. I mean, there's a lot of features in it. it uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it also says words across the bottom. It tells you it's empty. It also tells you the temperature. It's easy when you tap just the ember up here. It says my name on the mug. It has the temperature that you can adjust the scale. It's all touch. I love the lid because it's a push down lid. I push it in, drink, push it back down. There's no twisting. It's very simple. And I thought the design was awesome. I mean, it cost $150. I think it's only 99 for the mug, but I really think it's worth the price for me because I drink a lot of tea. Um, used to be coffee, but I really think this is a invaluable. Um, it's not like you, you know, you get a regular coffee mug and you get it and it insulates it and it's still hot where it burns your lips <laughs> by the time you want to drink it and it lasts. But the th like really keeping your coffee at the max, I mean, at the optimal temperature, I think is one of the most awesome things because um, it really keeps the taste where you want it. I don't want my tea cool. I don't want it warm. I want it at that right temperature. And this really makes you do it. I don't know, but for people who drink a lot of coffee or who drink coffee all day, I believe this or the or the regular mug will be invaluable. It's Ember, E-M-B-E-R. Um, I'll probably put a link in the comments. Check it out. I'm telling you, it's one of the um, best things that I had. But it does have a few downsides. Now, one of the things that I did, and this is my first, this is my second lid, was I used to put the tea directly in here and what I realized the heat from the tea melted the inside of the top. Now that's one thing that I really didn't like about it. Also um, one of the goofy things I do when I like tea but I like sometimes Lipton tea is when I was at work I would go get me some Lipton tea, pour it in here, turn it up to 130 and it would heat up the tea. I wouldn't use it to cook or make my tea but I definitely think it could heat it up. But like I said, if you pour the tea right out the kettle into this cup, the cup won't mess up, but it'll melt or, or warp the insides and the lid will no longer work. So I want you to think about that. But like I said, I thank everybody for watching. Please, if you're interested in coffee, at least research the Ember mug. I love it. Um, it it's the tr normal size of a travel mug. Uh, and I'm only going to bring these things like this to you so you can see and make your determination. These are some of the things that work for me or I like. And I'm going to start trying out some other things. 
and um, everything that I like isn't necessarily for you or why I think it's worth it. You may have a different reason, but I truly enjoy this. I recommend it to any coffee drinker, coffee drinker that likes to travel, um, even for your daily commute. I recommend it highly. And even the charger is so small, you can keep it like a phone charger in your bag. So you can have your tea and have it sit there all day and stay warm. So, I mean, this is, a, this is an amazing gadget. A little bit pricey, but um, I love it to death. Uh, my sisters tease me about all my gadgets. But trust me, this one, and there's a few other I'll bring to you later. But this is one of my favorites. Uh, check it out. Uh, my wife got it for me for Christmas. And... Um, I'm never turning back. So come back, check out Conversations with Kobe, see what we're talking about. Don't forget to mash that like button. Also, make something in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Tell me something you want me to, to try out or research. I make all the mistakes for you. If you got any questions about this mug or anything else, just hit me up. So take it easy. All right. Peace.